We are officially back on Kwai and that trip was such a whirlwind. It was so much fun. It was so nice to like get off of the island and to travel with Elia and just to feel like so capable and empowered with traveling with a baby and overcoming some of the coronavirus fears that I think all of us have because we just really don't know what's going on. It made me feel good. It made me feel strong. But now that we're back on Kauai since we've left the state, we now have to quarantine for 14 days at home. We are not allowed to leave under any circumstances. But yeah, today is just going to be getting the house back in order and hanging out with the baby and Elia has been so hungry so we're going to be giving her more solid so that's going to be like a fun thing that we're going to do today is giving her some more food. I know we can't like leave the house because of quarantine but I'm just like so happy to get back to my routine and I'm so happy to be back in the humidity. I'm already glowing. I feel a little bit sweaty. It's amazing. Okay let's get started. Oh my god look at all this. I gotta unpack that and do laundry. Ah. I dramatically overpacked. And then it was funny because I ended up wearing the same things over and over again. So I just had this like huge suitcase full of clothes that I barely wore. And most of the clothes are actually clean. My drawers are empty and I feel like I need to like reevaluate my life and like the clothes that I have. I feel like that trip was like telling me like, wow, you only wear a couple things. So did you have something you wanted to say? Hi, my girl. She's tired. She needs a nap. Are you going to go put her down? Okay. It was so cute. We got back last night and she saw her nursery and she was like, <gasps> and she remembered it. It was so cute. I was so excited for her. But yeah, she's going to go down for a nap. I'm going to make the bed. And then I'm gonna start unpacking the suitcases. <laughs> I don't want to, but I'm gonna. I don't know if any of you, when you travel, you use packing cubes, but my friend Janelle, she taught me about packing cubes. They're amazing. They keep your suitcase so organized. Do you ever like look for one shirt and then your suitcase is like a tornado and you spent all this time like packing it and rolling it? You can like organize your stuff, like pants in one, shirts in another, bras in another. So you can just like take the stuff out. Oh my God, it was so great. I got some for Wailea and I was able to put all the baby stuff in one cube. I kept my OCD like so like suppressed and feeling really good but I think it's also gonna help with my unpacking and my cubes are so organized Humidity is such a shock. I emptied these cubes and Elia is trying to be helpful. You helpful girl? You're not helpful. But her clothes, while we were gone, she outgrew a lot of stuff. So I actually need to pick it apart and get rid of the things that don't fit her anymore. And what I like to do is I put all the things that are too small in a bin and then I go on Craigslist and offer it up for free and just see if anyone is like in need of baby clothes. Because you never know when like someone's going through a hard time and then during like a pandemic, everyone's kind of financially like uncertain. So I, um, I've actually already done this once um, for her zero to three month old things. I gave them to someone who was expecting a little girl. It made me feel really good. So so I'm gonna do that right now and sort this stuff out and then my suitcase is empty and then I'm gonna work on what Leah's because if I ask him to do it, it'll take him all day and I am not waiting for that, so. Okay, these are all the ones that don't fit and I just kind of, I store them in here so that anytime she grows out of one, I can just kind of throw it in there and then once it starts to get full, I just like, give it away. Something that you don't hear before you give birth is that you literally have things for like, a couple months. Babies grow out of things so fast and not all babies are the same so they're not gonna like the same stuff. So you might buy a bunch of stuff that you're never gonna use. You know, I think it's just like good karma to pay it forward because someone may have something that you want. We don't need to have a hundred swings on this island that are gonna end up in a landfill. How about I use it for three months and then I give it to you? Like I just like love that idea. So I'm just trying to go along with that. And now I gotta go and unpack. Oh my God. Here are the packing cubes all broken down. They give you two large ones, two medium ones, a bra and panty one, and then like toiletries, and then it comes like a laundry bag. I had never heard about these before and they kept me so organized. So I'm gonna link them in the description box below. You have to try them. They're so inexpensive. It just offers so much extra organization. I loved it and it really relieved a lot of stress. I've unpacked mine, but we had to bring a third suitcase home for all of our extra stuff. And then there's Wailea's duffel bag. I just need like, do it. 
Okay, I finished two suitcases. Can you put them in the shed, honey? Mm -hmm. Put them out of the way. Okay, now for the duffel bag. Actually, honey, when you're done with that, can you bring the duffel bag into the bedroom so that I can, but not on the bed, like on the floor, because it's dirty, something on the plane. I got Waylay a packing cubes too, and seriously, I made the unpacking so easy. I organized them before we left. Like, I unzipped one and was able to put all the clothes away. It was the fastest unpacking I've ever done. So good. Okay. Yes! Ellie and I finished unpacking, didn't we, sweet girl? Are you two scoops of cute? Are you cute? It's crazy, while we were on the trip, I swear she went through like, three month stuff into six month stuff and so <gasps> hi girl did you grow a lot laundry let's start some laundry in <laughs> i've been like cleaning the house whoa that was crazy light change whoa crazy lights <laughs> it's kind of clean why well, clean the kitchen kind of we're we're okay. And you know, it was a trip. The National Guard came by, which is like army guys and like an army like tank thing to come and check to make sure that we were out home quarantining. Well, we were, so we didn't get in trouble. So, yeah, okay, laundry. My baby's awake. I'm gonna go get her. Good morning. <laughs> I have a shishi diaper and I need to change it. <laughs> this is her little sleep sack. It's like a sleeveless sleeping bag. I don't know if you knew this, but when babies can flip over, they can't be swaddled anymore, but it's so hot here that we need AC, and so she gets too cold if I don't like cover her up and you can't put blankets or anything in a crib with an infant, so I use these slip sacks. I will actually link them below. They're great and machine washable. I love them, she loves them. They're so cute. They're like little wearable sleeping bags. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm gonna change you now. Are you fuzzy? doing formula I think I've mentioned it in some of my other videos but I had a breast augmentation back in 2016 and it like drastically reduced the amount of milk that I was making and it really wasn't satisfying her so at first we were supplementing with um, formula but now we're doing 100% formula but she's now five months so we're actually doing solid foods too so I'm gonna do about a half a bottle and I'm gonna give her some pureed sweet potatoes that sound good filtered water and I just started to use like room temperature water so she's not like high maintenance needing warm milk actually breast milk is room temperature so you don't really need to heat it up very warm but it's really hot here so I feel like like the room temperature is like a good temperature I just made four ounces I don't know if she'll drink it all because I want to give her some solid food too I think maximum you usually give them about five ounces She actually drank the whole thing, so hopefully she's still interested in some solids. Hi, girl. 
So this is the coolest high chair. It can like change the height of the stool and use it as a high chair or this is removable. It has a seat belt in there. My sister gave me this high chair for my baby shower. I had it on my registry, um, but I'll link it below. I got it on Amazon. We can tuck it right into the table. The perfect thing, it like tucks in right in the table. Cutest little addition. I love this chair. A little while ago, what I did was I, I boiled a sweet potato and I pureed it with a little bit of formula to make it a little bit sweeter. And then I froze it in these ice cubes so they're like portion size. So what I do is I just take it out of this ice cube tray and I like to use these um, espresso cups and I just pop it in here and then I just microwave it. 30 seconds is the trick. If she doesn't want it, I'll just pop it into the fridge. You want some food, my girl? Want some food? Are you interested? A lot of people do this thing called baby led weaning, um, which means that you do not feed your baby with a spoon and you just only let the baby eat when it wants to pick it up itself. But she seems so hungry that we just tried giving her solid foods and we use these little um, munchkin plastic spoons, I'll link them. And she responds to the spoon great. She has no problem with swallowing. She's just really, really like all about it. So I didn't really follow that baby led weaning thing. Um, I have some friends who are moms who do do that. Um, and I think whatever works for you is great. I don't think that any one method is the right or wrong way. And I already can tell, like you can see that she was feeding, holding her bottle herself. She already wants to grab the spoon. She already wants to do it. So we're getting there. And I'm like really happy with the way that it's going. But I just kind of keep doing this until she stops opening her mouth or she swats it away. And I just kind of let her get as messy as she wants. Like I don't want to make this like a complicated and strict thing for her. I want her to have fun and I want her to enjoy it, so. Infants, they're not supposed to drink water until you start giving them solid foods, so then they do need water. And I gave her this little newbie um, cup, and it's like spill proof and it has these little handles. It's a really, really good one because I love that it doesn't spill, and because it has this like little weight on the bottom, no matter how she's holding it the water will still come out of the straw. So I'm a big fan. You can like pick it up herself and just start to learn how to drink water out of a cup. Um, I love this, I'll link it below. It looks like she wants some water, so. Come here, you wanna try it? Okay, let's go get cleaned up, let's go. You my messy girl. Wow. Wow. Let's clean you up. Are you feeling clean and beautiful? Wow. It's my pretty girl. Okay. I'm going to let her do some tummy time while I um, kind of clean everything up. What I've learned since I've had a baby is that actually like swings and chairs aren't the best for them. The best thing to do is lay them on the floor and let them like learn spatial awareness and about their body and it's the quickest way to crawl and it's the quickest way to walking. So we're like big fans of just putting a blanket down and letting her roll around. Once I clean everything up, I just kind of let her chill in her tummy for like 20 minutes and well, sometimes I'll get down there and I'll lay and roll around with her and 
After she seems like bored of it or fussy with it, um, I'll probably take her outside and let her check out all the greenery. We are in quarantine, so I'm not allowed to leave our property, but we have a cute little backyard, so I'll take her back to check out the outside and get some fresh air for a little bit. But between naps, she's really only up for about an hour and a half, two hours. Have him. <laughs> You're being so silly. He being silly. Danny, she being silly. So beautiful outside. I want to go swimming in the ocean. Like literally we're gone for 16 days and you're telling me that I can't even go and see the ocean? The answer is no. No, I cannot. Get a little tan. Corn tan. That's new. Into it. Okay. Okay. I'm not bored. You're bored. <laughs> I inspired myself with my own phrase that I'm gonna go quarantine. Okay, so I'm gonna wear my sports bra and I have my bathing suit bottoms on. Here's my mom body, so good. I love this tanner stuff. It's called Maui, babe. It's made in Hawaii. It like literally uses coffee and it keeps you so brown. It makes you look brown when you put it on, but it like gets a really good golden tan. So, we're gonna work on it, and we're gonna let Elia do tummy time on the grass outside while mommy gets a tan, and daddy's gonna come to Ann Ben. Right, Ben? Three! <laughs> He's excited, we're all excited. Thank you for waiting for me, Ben. Gentlemen, I've got my water and my towels. My Elia has the baby. Going into the back. There's our shed. Oh, 